Zhe Jiang, one of the cradles of ancient civilization of China, has long enjoyed fame as a land flowing with milk and honey, the source of silk and tea, the state of cultural relics, and the resort of tourism. Today, after 30 years of China carrying out policies of reform and opening, Zhejiang has experienced dramatic change. The ZTV shooting team will take the crew over the landscape of Zhejiang and those unforgettable things and people during those 30 years. Kajian 过去啊，这是一条又脏又臭的河道。现在经过整治呢，这条河就像一条美丽的玉带，环绕着整个古城绍兴。2500 year old Shaoxing city enjoys an esteemed history. Old-fashioned architecture, rivers and piers, streets. Rural folk customs and sites associated with a number of historical personages are all well preserved here. In recent years, Shaoxing government has invested a tremendous amount of capital in efforts to protect Shaoxing's history, earmarking for preservation places like Changqiao Street, Lu Xuing's residence, and Bazi Bridge. In August 2003, Changqiao Street received an Asia Pacific Heritage Award for Cultural Heritage Conservation. In October of 2008, Shaoxing was given the Habitat Scroll of Honor Award by UN Habitat. 这个干铁路动车组就像游龙一般的穿行，航经渠高速公路如同起飞的跑道，把浙江的中西部挂上了沿海经济的火车头。随着交通高速时代的来临，这片土地正散发出无穷的活力。在这个钱塘江上游的
and porcelain manufacture in Longchuan, and the stone carving associated with Qingtian. 现在我们的直升机沿着海岸线飞临永江、姚江、奉化江三江汇合处的宁波港。从空中俯瞰啊，这个北仑港集装箱作业带如同气势磅礴的巨龙，横卧在东海之滨。一九七九年的六月，国务院正式批准宁波港对外开放。从此，这个古老的港口揭开了蓬勃发展的崭新的一页。从名不见经传的内河小港到国际深水大港。The workers down in the Ningbo port will not soon forget that day in July, 1984, when the harbor began to undertake container transport operations. Twenty-five years have passed, and what was once a novelty has now become a routine part of the business of this business-oriented city. Ningbo port is now one of the most important. And busiest ports in mainland China. Trade from the port of Ningbo links 560 ports from more than 90 countries and regions around the globe. Along with the Yong River, you will find a number of large projects, either underway or on the way. Power stations, steel production, and shipbuilding. Are among Ningbo's main industries. 观众朋友，现在我们飞翔在辽阔的东海之滨，有着“千岛之城”称号的舟山，带着它特有的清新气息，从海平线进入了我们的视野。This is the Joshan Island mainland link project, bearing the dream of millions of Joshanese. The project aims to link five islands of the Joshan Archipelago by establishing cross-sea bridges between them. This massive undertaking will reshape the archipelago's infrastructure, and is of enormous significance to plans to advance the island's capacity to maximize the utilization of its resources, to develop tourism, and in general, to boost. The local and regional economy. These are the bridges upon which a thousand hopes will travel. From October 2009, the five bridges will be open to traffic, thus realizing a dream that has been around nearly as long as the island population itself. Our aerial crew now turns to Taizhou in eastern Zhejiang Province. Taizhou, as the birthplace of China's joint stock cooperative economy, has one of the most developed market-oriented economies in China. Magnificent mountains and a vast sea lapping at its shores are said to have formed the Taizhou character. Daring, creative, and proud. But surprisingly low-key. These characteristics have perhaps been one reason why the people of Taizhou have created one economic miracle after another. This land bristles with energy. In 1982, the people of Taizhou had the unparalleled wisdom and the courage. To initiate a market-oriented economy by way of a joint stock cooperative system, the first of its kind in modern China, Taizhou and its people have since witnessed the emergence of a mature market economy, and that is the economy that is now entrenched here. In 1998. The first car produced by a Chinese private enterprise was manufactured in Taizhou. At present, Taizhou boasts over 80,000 industrial enterprises. Backbone companies include famous brands like Tianjiang, Geely, and Feiyue. In addition. More than 2,000 domestically produced products have been marketed to over 160 countries and areas. 
着眼前这奇峰怪石、飞瀑流泉的景象，让我们不由得对大自然的鬼斧神工发出由衷的赞叹。东临岳清湾，南临瓯江的温州岳清，不仅仅有着秀丽奇绝的雁荡山水，更以“敢为天下先”而四方闻名。改革开放以来呢，温州以小商品大市场的发展模式，成了民营经济的发祥地，市场经济的领跑者。现在我们的直升机沿着海岸线往南飞，越过这片神奇的热土。This is Liu Shi, located in Wenzhou. It is one of the top hundred towns of economic development in China. Liu Shi is known as China's town of electric appliances and China's town of shoes. Liu Shi can be regarded as a miniature, a microcosm of Wenzhou itself. Wenzhou is as energetic and enterprising a city as you are likely to find anywhere on Earth. In the early days of opening up and reform. The people of Wenzhou took the lead in developing a commodity-based economy, starting as simply as household industries and specialized markets. Thousands upon thousands of people and families were engaged in household manufacturing, and at present, Wenzhou has a total of 240,000. Individually owned commercial and industrial units, and 130,000 private enterprises. Of these private enterprises, 180 are group companies, four of which are among China's top 500 enterprises, and 36 of which are in the 500 top private enterprises nationwide. Today, new industries such as precision chemical development and marine transport have taken off. Daring to be the pioneer, it is not only characteristic of Wenzhouese, but of Zhejiangese in general. For the people of Zhejiang, there is no crisis that is not also an opportunity. No opportunity. That defies exploration. It is the world's longest sea-spanning bridge, the Hangzhou Bay Bridge. The bridge links the outskirts of Shanghai to the northern suburbs of Ningbo, and cuts the traveling distance between the two port cities by 120 kilometers. With the opening of the bridge. The drive time has gone from four to two hours. Flying across Zhejiang, across its more than 100,000 square kilometer area, it is impossible not to feel very proud indeed. Ranges of mountains and hills. Beautiful towns and villages, mighty rivers and waters rich in history. All these things and much, much more tell us that this is Zhejiang, the place where we grew up, the place where we came of age, the place where we live. This is Zhejiang. Our beautiful home, our beautiful province.